worked way better than I expected. How's it going, all you beautiful, beautiful bastards? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of BeamNG Drive. Now, today, this is kind of going to be episode two, checking out the new update, if you don't know. Uh, well, go watch the last episode if you don't know that BeamNG is updated, because it's one of the biggest updates that BeamNG has ever had. And there was so much that I didn't really get a chance to do too much of what I wanted in the last episode, so we got another episode now, trying to play with these new toys uh, a little bit further. And you guys gave some good suggestions on things to do as well. So we're starting off with the transport truck that has the cargo door that can open on the fly. This thing, I mean, it's coming straight out of an action movie. We can open this up on the go, and I want to see if I can get a car inside. That sounds like the funnest thing ever. So I got it set up to do that. We got the transport truck here. Way in the distance is this car. We're just going to get the transport truck to chase that car so it goes in a straight line, and we'll see if we can bring something inside. Now, what do I want to use? You know what? How about the Miramar? Because this has got some, yeah, rally off-road editions. Uh, street tune. You know what? We'll do a street tune Miramar. That looks absolutely awesome. And we get to hear a new engine sound because we didn't check this out in the last episode. So we'll spawn a new one. Hopefully this works out first try. No idea if it will or not, but uh, we're going to try it out here. So first of all, we want to pause the game, go over to the transport truck, which is this one, and tell it to chase... Hopefully the right vehicle, which should be the middle one. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just try that and see what happens. If it's the wrong one, we can always reset. So, gonna let that guy do that, and it's going for me. God damn it. Okay, I think I got it. Yes, there we go. It's definitely chasing the right one now, so this is gonna be the fun part. You know what? Let's open up that, that door, actually. Uh, we should be able to do that on the fly. Oh crap, I, I did the wrong one. Okay, so it's that one. There we go, the door's opening. I'm gonna have to catch up to this thing. Mind you, I am using a modified car, so we should be okay. And we're gonna do this in first person, just because it's fun. I got kind of weirded out there because I'm on the right side of the car. I forgot, we're using a British one right now. All right, so, oh God, the car's actually, oh no, that's the jump. Okay, I thought it was already up by the car. This truck's actually really fast, so we gotta, really motor on here to get up to it. This is so cool, though. I feel like I'm in an action movie. Okay. Oh! Oh, guys! Holy crap! I didn't even hit the sides! That was fucking beautiful! That went way too well! Alright, well, usually good things don't happen to me. I expected to at least crash it a few times there. That little car was way too easy, so we're gonna close that up. Let's disable AI mode right now. It's supposed to be disabled. Can I just control it? Oh, wait. I'm driving the trailer. That's right. So, this one's in chase. We're gonna disable that right now. That actually worked really well, though. There's the car right there, perfect timing, and I wanna take this off the jump. Actually, you know what, screw it. Let's go for a little crash here, because that sounds a little bit more fun. So let's go, uh, we'll go a nice four times slower than real life here, and, oh, oh, yeah, sliding right into it. <laughs> yes, I just wanted to see if the trailer got affected, and unfortunately, it's looking like the trailer's totally fine. That was a very realistic feeling crash, though. That was amazing. Now, everything else is fucked up, but you know what? My little car looks absolutely great. So we'll open up that cargo door. And look at that. Just pull right out of this bad boy. Hopefully it's uh, undone by now. There we go. And, dude, beautiful. It's absolutely perfect, isn't it? Like, I did not get affected at all by that whole endeavor. Like, the last thing I expected was to have a clean car at the end of this. All right, let's try that again. This time, a little bit of a bigger car. We got the wheelie. I don't remember what this one's called. This is the new Jeep version. I figured we'd use the wheelie model just because, well, it's going to be fun, the wheelie. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a head start because I'm assuming this one's really, really quick. And, uh, yeah, pedal to the metal. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Okay, so this thing, yeah, this has some serious power behind it. Oh, God, we're already coming up to it. So... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to try a little bit of a wider car. I don't even know if this one can fit in there, just to give myself a little bit more of a challenge. But, you know what? That's so much easier than it seems. That's absolutely amazing. All right, let's see if we can pull off of it. Oh, dude, that just works so well. All right, it's coming in. You know what? I'm coming in for the crash, too. I want to get it first here. 
And yeah, that was just way too easy. I didn't expect. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect that to go so well, so I uh, thought it would be a little bit more of a challenge. Yeah, that thing ain't looking too good. Mind you, it's still going for the kill. It's committed. All right, I think you did a good job already, transport truck. I mean, you can do it if you want. There you go. Good job, buddy. All right, next goal. Uh, this one's going to be freaking amazing if it works. So I got a monster truck here because we need something with a lot of torque. Because what I'm going to try and do is take this plane and turn it into a kite. So to do that, we do need to uh, get rid of some weight here. So we should be able to get rid of the engine, which is uh, going to be a lot of the weight. Aside from that, there's really nothing else to the plane, as you can see, uh, aside from the actual outside body. So we're just going to take this off. And if you don't know, you can do this in the game. You can customize any vehicle. Uh, that's going to turn it into a glider. Now, the nose is kind of acting funny, but that should be fine. And now it's the fun part of trying to connect this to that. So I don't want to go to the top because that's going to put forward drag on it. So let's try, like, ooh, okay, so that's a pretty stiff point. All right, we're going to drop it down to zero. There we go. And, oh, God. See, this is the problem. You can't actually travel. There we go. Very well. While you're holding one of these connect points. But we should... Oh, is there no connections on the damn monster truck? Oh, never mind. Okay. Forgot to hit the button. All right. So it's going to be a little bit sideways. But let's do that one right there. So... I don't really know where I'm going to go from this, because uh, this is very, very confusing. So what? Uh, okay, that is the plane. Okay, that's the other vehicle. So what I'm going to do is go to that and then respawn that here. There we go. Now I can go back to my other vehicle. My Oh, fuck. The plane's already pulled in. All right, so I'm not going to be able to do it just yet, but let's just see if it can take to the air. <laughs> oh, my God. That worked way better than I expected. All right, now I got to take this thing off a jump just to see how it reacts. Oh, God, the wheels are in my view. There we go. It's coming closer and closer. Oh, dude, if, if this thing didn't pull in, that would be so fun. All right, but this is going to be cool. Here we go. I legit got a kite. Oh, and now it's just stuck behind me by the time we get to the damn thing. I'm spinning all out over the place anyways. There we go. Dude, that went way too well for first try, though. So I was going to try and pilot the plane and get this thing to chase the other vehicle, but it stays so stable in the air that I think I can just do it the way that we just did it and uh, give it a little bit more slack so we can actually get it up in the air. All right, and when I say slack... I mean it. This is going to be absolutely amazing. So the hard part is actually connecting this together without totally breaking the game. Now, hopefully the engine stays out of it because I didn't pull the engine out again. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does. Oh, God. Here we go again. Okay. There we go. There's no easy way to do this. <laughs> You're not really supposed to do this. I think things are only supposed to be a couple feet away. But that's the whole fun of it, is breaking the game to the point where you can do it. So, all right, we're going to do that again. That was the perfect connect point. So, once again, or was it that one, or I think there was another one. No, it actually was that one. Okay, so middle click to connect. There we go. I think. I hope. Now I'm opening up everything. Why is it not moving, though? That's what I'm curious about. All right, well, let's try it. Oh, it's because it's pulling this back. So here we go. Oh, please. Please. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the most hardcore kite flying that I've ever seen, damn it. Oh, dude, this is just great. Actually, we can keep this going straight if we go and... We... Oh, god. oh god, go back to it. Oh, this is bad. All right, well, let's pull it back. Let's hold on to her. It's okay. All right, my, my, my kite is going to be totally screwed. Kite's still working. I <laughs> do <laughs> oh, dude, this is the greatest thing ever. Okay, we're going down. I can't, I can't do much about it. <laughs> All right, let's pause time. I set it up again. I want to control the plane the whole time because being the kite is the fun part. So, uh, uh oh, okay. So I gotta go, and can I go back? No. Okay, so I gotta reset this. This is so confusing, guys. I'm sorry. But there we go. This thing's slowly being pulled back. So we want this guy to hopefully chase the right guy. So here we go again. Let's see what happens. What number was it? I believe it was in the fours. Oh, God. Nope, 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 nope. That's the wrong one. Okay. Okay. Go. All right. Good one. Good. All right. We're good. Here we go. 
<laughs> oh, dude. And he is chasing the other car way down the line. So we could actually kind of use this like a plane now. I just want to see if I can like fight the rope and break off of it and glide down. Oh, God, that's not good. Okay, well, we're still connected to it. Uh, it's connected to the actual frame. Oh, God, it's going to go off the jump. It's going straight for it. I can't do anything about it, but this is the coolest thing ever. There it goes. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I went up in the air as it did. Oh, God. Dude, it is totally... Oh, God. That went so well for a little while. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> what has it got left on it? I gotta see. It's got three wheels, but it's still going, damn it. All right. I, I don't got my front end, but I'm still going, too. Let me see if I can maybe land this. That'd be fun. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so weird being pulled on a rope because I am just all over the place. Oh, I'm so dead. All right. I don't know why it's going that way. I'm assuming because it has three wheels. All right. There's the car right there. So maybe I could have a safe landing because it's going to go and run right into that car. And we're not going that. I mean, we're going pretty damn fast, but we're not going that fast. And I think it's going to miss it and try and turn around. Yes, that's exactly what it's doing. So I might. Oh, come on. Have a good landing. Smooth. Oh, that wasn't too bad at all. It's still trying to attack the other thing. All right, experiment number three. We're going to try and connect two cars together on opposite sides of, well, go going opposite directions. So hopefully we can slow it down enough uh, where this Moonhawk and whatever the other muscle car is uh, can actually totally demolish each other. So I've never done this before, but if we slow it down to be really slow, okay, we don't need it that slow just yet, but... Get them nice and close. This might actually work. Oh, my God. I, I didn't know if it would or not, uh, but I've been impressed all day. So now we don't need to drive that. It's just going to coast. It's going probably 300 kilometers an hour. And what do I want to attach it to? We kind of got to work fast here, but uh, you know what? Let's just go for somewhere in the bumper. Uh, the bumper's probably just going to rip itself off, but we can try again. If Whoa, what the fuck? Okay. Um, can I please? Can I please? Okay. Wow, that was... That was weird. Uh, what the? Oh, I must have ripped it off. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to do another one here. Thankfully, we got enough time for that. Let's do the engine. How about that? And, oh my god, this, this is so hard to do. Okay, and anywhere here? You know what? Let's just do something like that. Okay, well, uh, it worked. It went so quick, though, that, uh... Yeah, there's a, the problem is it just rips out whatever part you attach it to. So the engine, I attached it to, and the engine came out of the thing. So uh, I guess we'll speed up time. Just seeing, okay, yeah, I think it totally broke all the cords. So, yeah, my car ain't doing so well, though. And I thought we would uh, do a little bit of a change of scenery. So for some reason, this was probably the most requested thing. Attach a bunch of penguins together, and... Uh, yeah, just drive around with them. So I thought we'd one-up it and do a ski jump with them. So, yeah, I don't know how this one's going to go. You can't even control one of these, let alone five attached together. So this should go fan. Oh, shit. Okay, let's not drop the uh, force down to zero and bam, connected together. Okay, these are totally going to rip off, right? Maybe I should use the bumper and connect it together. I don't know what I connected it to, but let's hope these things stick together. This is going to be the worst. This is to totally not going to work. I, I don't think it is, but we got the bumper, so you know what? Let's make sure this one, because I think I connected it to the tailgate. Yeah, probably not the best idea. Let's do the bumper here to the bumper. There we go. Now that's cemented in place. Oh, shit. Now I don't know which one I'm connected to. I'm thinking it's this one. Ah, shit. So... Yeah, unfortunately, you know what? Let's just do it with this view. So to get back into my view, it would reset the car. And uh, yeah, we don't really want that to happen. There's many different ways to do it, though. But here, oh, God. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's not even, it doesn't have enough power. All right, let's try that again, though. Maybe I got some parking brakes on. So we'll connect this together with this view. Oh, my God, I ripped the bumper right off. But maybe this will be the answer. You know what? We're just going to connect it everywhere here. This is this is going to be great. So there you go. Kiss and make up, guys. It's going to be great. Yes, we are cementing this to the other car. <laughs> okay, it's shaking. That's probably a good sign. Let's make sure all the parking brakes aren't on. None of them are. So I don't think... Come on, baby. Come on. 
You know what? Let's just get everyone to chase me. That, that will work. All right, you're gonna chase. Oh God, I don't know which one it is. So, you know what? Let's just go for this one and see what happens here. I just need a little bit of help. All right, that one's chasing. Okay, they're all chasing it. So I think we should be good. Let's just let it go and see what happens. All right, there's engines definitely going. This is so not working. Damn it. Oh shit. Oh God, I'm so sorry guys. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. I just nudged you guys and then you went all crazy. But yeah, if we don't got enough power, let's get a- Jesus, I did it again. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. Well, let's get a real truck with some real power. How about that? And show these little fake trucks how it works. So, why is it- Okay, it's not- This- 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 These do not want to connect! Why? Okay, does this truck just not work for some reason? All right, I can't seem to- Oh, there we go! Finally, I got a vehicle that can connect to pigeons. For whatever reason, they're so worthless. I can't even connect to them, so let's get a re real vehicle to tow these things, because clearly they can't. Oh. oh, I should have expected for that to happen. Well, when you can't beat them, kill them. There we go, that's that's exactly what I wanted, except, you know, going off of jumps. This is, this is just as fun. All right, the, the recall's actually pushing me back. I absolutely love it. Oh, this is so great. Actually, you know what? I got a better idea. Let's reset this. Uh, we're not actually gonna use that, but we're gonna reset all of these. Guys, don't chase each other, please. Okay, they're they're trying they're gonna try and hit me. You didn't do much. You did not do much. Oh, why didn't I think of this sooner? This just makes so much more sense. So uh Yeah, I think we're gonna have a nice good jump inside the transport truck. Assuming I can get up here. Oh, thank god we don't get stuck in that hole. Come on, you can do it! Almost couldn't make it up there. All right, let's see how many pigeons we can fit inside. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I think three is probably the safe bet. I wanna sit in one of these and watch the chaos as we go down the hill. So, uh, this one's gonna be the lucky one that doesn't need to go. Let's connect this thing up. And we are connected. So, we're gonna close that bad boy up and this is going to be fun. I'll see you guys. Do I actually get the peek in there the whole time? No, I don't. That's 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 lame. All right, so we got all those obviously, and we're just gonna go. I'm gonna take my time here and go down this thing. Oh, they're already probably. Oh no, no! Come on! Oh, we're slowly doing it. Come on, let's see what's going on in the back. I'm already curious. All right, everything is totally fine. All right, just gotta give a little helping hand here. So there, there you go. That should be. Oh my God, this thing is. This is really a, a steep drop, as you can see. Hopefully I don't break off the back. There we go, that should be good. And, oh god, oh god, oh, oh my god, what is this view? Oh no, oh no! <laughs> I don't know what's going on outside, but I don't think we're gonna make it to the end of the ramp. Yeah, we are just sticking on the side of it. Mind you, we might get enough speed. We might! Yes! There we go! We are clearly airborne! And wait for it! Oh god, this is gonna be so bad. Let's just, uh, slow down time here and enjoy it. Oh god! Here we go! I hear it hitting! <laughs> I'm squishing the green one! And oh, we just got absolutely flattened. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Let's, uh, I think I'm upside. What is going on? Oh my god. Okay! Well, that's what I'm looking at. A total destruction. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of BeamNG. Just playing around once again and having a good time in this very awesome vehicle sandbox. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, yeah, mostly playing with the ropes, let's be honest. But yeah, we had a lot of fun experiments, and most of them actually worked remarkably well. So yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions on weird shit you want to see in this game, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I'll be keeping an eye out for new mods and upcoming features that you guys might be interested in. So as always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.